So this cute little Schnauzer's name is Bailey, and Bailey is in today because Dr. Bird thinks she may have Cushing's disease. Cushing's is the overproduction of cortisol in the body, and it's diagnosed through a specialized blood test called an ACTH stimulation. So what we have to do is we're taking her first blood sample right now. We just took it from her jugular vein. And then we're going to give her an injection of corticotropin, which will stimulate her adrenal glands to make cortisol. After we give her that injection, we're going to wait two hours and then take a second blood sample. Then once we get both of those, we send them off to the lab and have it analyzed and we compare the two different cortisol levels in the two samples. And if the second sample is really high, then that is diagnostic for Cushing's disease. And if the second sample is really, really low, then that's actually diagnostic for another disease called Addison. So that is her corticotropin that is going into her right hamstring muscle, and then we're going to wait two hours and grab that second blood sample. And you may know cortisol as the stress hormone, and it is involved in the stress response, but it also helps regulate the metabolic processes. The immune response, the inflammatory response, blood sugar levels, so it does do a lot throughout the body and at normal levels it's a nice full body regulator but when it starts to get overproduced the dogs can gain weight, their bellies get bloated, they have difficulty sleeping at night, they drink and urinate a lot more frequently and they just kind of overall are lethargic and don't feel very good. Um, the good thing is is that once Cushing's is diagnosed there's a few different medications that are given at home that get those cortisol levels down within the normal range. And it's been two hours since that corticotropin injection, so now we're taking the second blood sample to see how the adrenal glands responded. And as you can see, Bailey is super relaxed during this procedure, so I think sometimes owners can get a little stressed out when we have to get blood from their pet, but as you can see, it's a really quick and easy thing and it's low stress for the pet. So. Hopefully if we ever have to get blood out of your animal, you won't worry too much. This is the readout that we get from the lab, and you can see there's the two different cortisol levels. And anything over 22 on that post is considered diagnostic for Cushing's, and since Bailey's is 32.7, she definitely does have Cushing's, so now we will get her started on the right medication and get her feeling better at home.